Hey guys, good afternoon. Hector with HM Custom Threads. Real quick, I was uh, requested to do a layout step by step for a pattern that I had made five videos of, which is this one here, the four point star. So, first things first, if you don't have a step by step guide, if you already know what, you're, what pattern you're going to wrap, what have you, uh, you, of course, you need to figure out what what your measurements are. You know, how much space is this going to occupy? Is it going to fit on the blank? Uh, is it going to wrap all the way around? Or is it going to be properly spaced out? So once you get all that together and once you get all that figured out, you first thing you do is mark your blank. Uh, the glare there doesn't let you necessarily see where I have marked it, but if you take care and look here, I've actually marked it all the way down. It's a metallic marker or a paint metallic marker. Uh, when I put it right in the glare, of course, it's super straight because it's right along with the glare there. Uh, <clears throat> so you get confused with the light or the glare. Uh, the light glare or the metallic silver paint there. So. This one here calls for, it's going to be 22.3 millimeters. Of course, when Adamir designed this, he was using, or rather in Brazil, they use the commas as periods. So it's 22.3 millimeters, and you have a number of 104 cross points. Uh, the only thing that's really particular is this measurement here. And then once we flip it over, that's when we start our layout. So once you have laid this out or once you have marked your axes let's say this is your zero and then you flip it around and this would be your 180 now you come back and you take your measurements from the butt in the middle and the tip in if you're doing this manually uh, if you have an app or if you have uh, some people would say visual wrap that would help you in your spacing if you don't you can do it by hand uh, without math, uh, go to the rodguild.com and in the how to section, you can find an article I wrote on how to do that. So let's just say we have a spacing of 30, let's just say 27 millimeters. This is a pretty small blank. I think it's only about 9 millimeters. So if you multiply that times 3.14, You'll probably end up right, yeah, you know, somewhere around eh, 30 millimeters, if you will. <clears throat> oh, pardon me, I must have gotten. I'm trying to get to 30 millimeters there. I must have gotten some epoxy on the back of my <clears throat> on the back of my calipers here, so it was stopping me. <laughs> my apologies. Okay, dope. Let's get on over to. Let's just do 30 millimeters just to be on the safe side. All right, so we're at 30. Well, 29.99, that's close enough. Lock it down. If you have these these calipers, you can, this little screw up top is where you can lock it. So I've used one paint color there, or if you will, the silver. Now I'm going to go with a blue Bistro chalk marker. And so what we'll do is just mark out from this point here to this point is that measurement there, 30. The next measurement, 30. Now, they're, of course, they're not all going to be 30. Uh, taper offset, you're going to have to account for that. But this is for demonstration purposes. Okay. Now that we have those marked, now what we do is we take here, this measurement is from the center. This here is from the center and that measured out that measures out at 3.7 millimeters, but I'm going to measure it at four. Four millimeters. Well, actually, that's this is the center. So you have to take half of the 3.7. So what we'll do is, to complete that at four millimeters, I'll take from the center, which is this point right here, 
each of these points, we're going to measure two millimeters to each side. Okay. So now we take our caliper, go down to two millimeters, which is pretty small. All right, lock it down. Now, what we do is we just mark, hope you guys can see this. Okay, cool, you can. Just mark a little dot on each side just so you can see it. I'll zoom in here so you can see my markings. Be careful not to put your hands t too much on the blank because what ends up happening is you will rub off your markings if uh, especially if you're using this chalk pen you want it to come off but you don't want it to come off too soon to where you have to go and you know do your marks again redo your marks that's not fun and you would do this of course for both your 0 and 180 okay So those points are measured. So we got it four millimeters. I'll zoom in so you can actually see uh, the actual markings. So now we have the marking there, marking there. There we go. And now you can actually see the silver access mark. So what you would do when you start on this, when you start on your first step, this step is the center point. The center point of this step is going to be right here, your center mark. And then that's your center mark right here. Okay, so what you would do is this, this part right here, or this dot, it's the same side, on the left side, you would start your first thread right here. Then once you do that, you start your next thread, the lighter blue, you would start it on this side. And then right after that, once you had the two threads here, one here and one here, then the white thread that's on the outside or whatever colors you're choosing, but I'm just using this as an example, <clears throat> you would wrap these threads, the background threads, right to the outside of the two threads that you had just laid down. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to send me a, uh, an email at hmcustomthreads at gmail.com. Look me up on Facebook, hmcustomthreads. Uh, message me at Hector Rojas or hmcustomthreads. Uh, hope that helped. See you soon and keep calm and rap on.